gosh, my room is a mess. Don't look at that, please. Um, I'm gonna be late for work, so I just decided I would just take my time today and just kind of let you guys see my morning routine. Yesterday I did a face mask and my face is so clear today. I'm like, maybe I need to do that every day. I don't know. I gotta read the instructions of the face mask again. But without further ado, I just thought I would show you guys what I do in the mornings for my makeup because I don't know. I just thought it would be fun. Uh, people tell me all the time, like your makeup is so great. I'm definitely not a professional but I kinda understand the principle of putting on makeup. I definitely don't go all out crazy, but um, I try. <laughs> I'm out of a couple of things that I normally use. Like I normally use like Tarte Cosmetics for my under eye. Definitely out of that and I have been for a minute. So yeah, so I just put concealer on I don't wear foundation but I did just buy this really cool thing that I saw online which who knows if it actually works and I didn't spend a lot of money on it so I was like okay with it it's this thing where it changes with your skin tone so you like sit there and you're like you're like rubbing it in and it I don't know why I'm winded um it's supposed to like create like a really flawless look which would be nice so I don't have a great jawline on this side of my face and right now I'm a little chubby <laughs> um, I do this because it helps kind of differentiate where my where my jawline is and where my neck is also I don't know what happened to my voice I feel like it hasn't ever gotten better I should probably go to the doctor for it but it is what it is, right? I love powder, and I feel like I probably bake a little bit too much, but this is translucent powder, so really it doesn't actually do much compared to like the powder that I used to have, which was like a fair. That one was great. I need to go buy me a new one, but you know, other things are priority sometimes. I just feel like I always have this bag under my eye and I can't ever get rid of it, no matter how much powder I put on it. So this is pretty much it. So then I just kind of get it all up in there. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Looks good. So while I'm leaving that on, before blending it, I then... While my room... Hey, don't look at this. Ah. Um, I then do my eyebrows. I have my... And dandy spoolie. Is that what it's called? I think so. So then use my handy dandy cream. I put the cream all over the eyebrow. I have, there's like no method to my madness. I just kind of go for it. And I think every morning I do change it up. Um, but that's just kind of how it goes. And my eyebrows are definitely never twins. They're always sisters. Um, unfortunately, it's just a life I'm always gonna have to have because I have this little calic right here, which I'm sure some of y'all have probably noticed either seeing me in day to day or watching my vlogs or anything like that. It's, it's a life that I have, so. Okay, so this is the hardest part for me is figuring out how thick I want it, how filled in I want it. So we kind of just go for it. And then mm -hmm, mm -hmm. go for it on the other side. Okay. So now that I have that done, what I do after that is I use this handy dandy boy. I use this handy dandy girl. And I just get my brush nice and covered and then I just kind of go to town yeah that's not how we're gonna be that's just like a big scoop I guess we can go for it today let's make our eyebrow look like a little scoop Reagan yeah, that's a little bit better oh frick dang it so I'll have to touch that one up and then I just do the other eyebrow and this one for her oh one turned out decent this is typically the eyebrow that always is like 
super difficult, but it looks pretty good. It doesn't look too bad. This one I'll have to touch up, which is really weird because normally I have to touch this one up, but see the difference? <laughs> That's what I said. Eyebrows are always sisters, never twins. Okay. So then, grab my little thingy again and I just kind of blend it all up. Blend it all up. Blend it all, blend it all, blend it all up. Harder. Cause I'm blending up, blending up my eyebrows. Okay. So I gotta touch this one up. Okay, so whenever I fix it, I always use this little one because it helps be able to control it a little bit better. Control like the placement of the, like where the eyebrow pigment color is gonna be. So then after that, I take back my little handy dandy, whatever you call this thing. I think it's called a spoolie or whatever. There we go. Then I do this one. There we go. There we go. Okay, and then I just kind of come in here and I just blend, 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 blend. And then I blend up here. Alright, I think it's a little bit better. This one's still a little dark, but it is what it is, kids. Okay, and then I take just a little bit more powder on this big brush and I just kind of. brush the forehead a little bit okay now for my favorite part after the blush I am obsessed with my eyeshadows and I just got um, some new palettes which I am obsessed with so for the longest time I just had this one palette that I bought off of wish and it's it's not a bad palette it's decent but the pigment of the it isn't I guess or I guess the depth of the color not the pigment but the depth of the color and a couple of them is really not great but you can kind of see which ones I used the most um, but then for Christmas my best friends got me this from the gypsy shrine which is beautiful and these glitter colors are so much fun and i have so much fun with them and then they got me well bailey got me that one and maddie got me this one which is my little morph palette is it morphe or morph i think it's morphe um but she got me this palette and i love this one too and then i just bought these two the bretman rock uh lit and wet palette and now for me like the wet palette is a little intimidating because i feel like blues can be so hard to look at they're so pretty look at these Ugh. i feel like the what the blues can be super hard to like control and figure out but i'm gonna try it today because i saw a tutorial last night on instagram and we'll see how this goes um so typically I start off with my big brush and I always have my little like cleaner handy just a paper towel um, and I just I'm gonna take the finished this one right here I'm gonna take that one gotta kind of get it a little covered pretty well because it's a lot and then I just kind of take it and kind of just go along the crease like the top of the crease right here um just to kind of help me have a little bit of color that goes almost all the way to my eyebrow so do it on the other side okay cool so now that i have that done then i take my just kind of filler brush and this is just what i use for like my base and i'm picking the iwa beach iwa beach Beach. I don't know. He's from Hawaii. It's whatever. Um, I just kind of pick the brown and it's kind of pretty dark. So I just kind of pat it a little bit and then I take my fingers and I kind of blend it and then pat it and then blend it and then pat it and then blend it until I get like that light 
and this is the first time I'm doing this tutorial or this kind of look so we'll see how it goes this one's pretty basic which I was like I can do that um and so then after that one I'm gonna take this handy dandy boy and I'm gonna take the skinny legend and like two um little pats of the Ella Beach and then a little bit more of the skinny legend because I like to blend it and then I'm just gonna kind of go in the crease right here kind of give it a little bit of a blend just to make it a little bit prettier I guess and same thing on the other eye okay and then after that I go back to this one get a little bit more of this and I just kind of just add a little bit more just literally the tiniest bit just to kind of bring that blue back out a little bit and then for the fun part so I'm gonna use my little bitty corner brush and I'm gonna take I'm chillin mixed with a couple of dashes of mood so I'm chilling with a couple of dashes of mood and then I'm just gonna kind of do the corner right here I'm just kind of creasing it a little bit and then bringing it to my corner to kind of give it that like smoky look a little bit okay we're doing good we're doing great and so then at the very end which I haven't done this before but it was in the tutorial I'm gonna take a little bit of thickums I think is what it's called in this crease brush and I'm gonna mix it with a little bit of lol I'm crying and then I'm just gonna kind of literally put it right here to give that little section a bit of shine. Ooh, I like that a lot. Oh my gosh. And then to finish it, I always do a bottom crease and I love blue bottom creases. It's the best. And typically, I would be like, let me do my eyeliner too because my mask, because my eyeshadow looks so good. But I don't have time for that today because I'm definitely late for work now. And then to finish it off, a little bit of eyeliner at the bottom and then we're all set and then we just got to do our mascara I typically use um, better than sex mascara but I'm out of that too so this came in my ipsy bag and I kind of like experimented with all the different mascaras in my ipsy bag and this one like worked works pretty well so then I do the other eye gotta get the bottoms of them and that's the look friends it's a pretty blue look that I learned and really the only thing that I wouldn't have done myself is add the creases I actually really like it it might be my new look so thanks for watching um thanks for coming to Reagan's tutorial makeup tutorial I had so much fun and I hope you had fun and thanks so much bye uh, stop recording everything <laughs> I need you to get off of me <laughs> You're my favorite person, though. Bye. <laughs>